to show you the basics on using an app like Clips. So Clips is an app that's designed to make fast, quick, easy movies that don't require a lot of editing. So when I open up the Clips app, it's going to take me right into a project. And the way this project works is I have some buttons over here on the right, and then I have a timeline down here at the bottom. And so if I wanted to record some video for my clips, I can actually press and hold this pink button. And when I press and hold that button, I have to keep holding that button down and it will keep recording until I let go of that button. So if I press and hold, hi, welcome to clips. And then let go, it will make that clip and put it down here at the bottom, it looks like that. Now that's great for short clips, but let's say I wanted to record a really long, big clip. Um, that can become pretty challenging uh, to hold down the button the entire time. Or maybe I need to stand back and I don't have the ability to reach the button to be able to hold it at the same time. So I can actually click on this button and drag it to the left towards that lock. It changes from a rectangle to a square. And now when I let go, uh, it's recording and it's recording without me having to hold anything down. So. Uh, it'll keep recording until I click that button again to stop it. Now Clips also has the ability to take pictures. This little button right here allows me to uh, take a picture. It'll snap this picture uh, at this specific spot, but it doesn't add it until again I hold down that pink button. And I'm going to hold it down for however many seconds I want that picture to be in my movie. So if I want it to be in there for four seconds, I'm going to click and hold down four seconds and then let go and then it adds that clip to my movie as a still image for four seconds. Now I can also insert pictures and video that are in my photo library. Um, I can do that using this button right here. If I click on that button I have the ability to insert photos and this will connect to my photo library and I can pick and choose any picture or video that I have that I may want to include. And so I could choose the still image here and hit add and it gives me two different options. I could simply choose to add to my project, which will add this picture to my project automatically, or I could tell it to preview and record, and this will, just like the other one, allows me to press and hold down the button to control exactly how many seconds it's on there, and this allows me to record my own voice over this at the same time. Um, if I choose to add it directly to my project, it won't have audio unless it was a video file that had audio recorded with it, Otherwise, it's just going to add that picture. Um, if I do it this way, I can press and hold down the button. This is a Memoji of myself wearing AirPods. And then let go, and then it puts that in there with my voice on it at the same time. Now, the other option I have for pictures here has to do with what they call posters. Now, when you're looking for posters, don't worry about the text. You can change the text to make it say anything you want. All you're doing here is choosing a style, which has simply a font and some background colors. Um, most of these are also slightly animated too, where the text might pop up on the screen or something might move in the background. For example, the happy birthday poster has balloons that will move. Now, posters can be used at the beginning of your movie, if you want, or they can be used at any point along the way to maybe divide your movie up into sections or maybe to ask some questions or however it is that you need to insert text into your um, movie with a background already in it. So for example, if I wanted to do something like this, I would click on that poster and it's gonna download it in a few seconds here and it's gonna allow me to edit it first. So if I wanted to have a title to my movie, I would simply go in and type that in here, whatever the title of my movie is, click apply in the corner, and now to add it to my movie, this is again where I'm going to press and hold down that pink button for however many seconds I want this title to be in my movie. Now most pictures, anything that's a still image, is only going to be around four or five seconds long. But some of these have animations and you might want to hold it down and let the animation finish moving before you let go. So for example, if I press and hold down, watch what it does in the background. So things kind of move a little bit, the title pops up, I wait four seconds and then let go, and then it added my title. Now if I want this to be at the beginning of my movie, all I have to do is click and hold down 
and drag it anywhere I want it to be, and now this has got my title. Now, if I were to click on this and hit play, it looks good, kind of but it has my voice behind it. Up. And so if I don't want my right, voice behind something, clips. I can simply click on it, and I can tell it to mute. So I can turn off my voice on any of these clips, or maybe there's noise in the classroom or other things going on where you don't want that to show up in there. Now, the other thing, now that I have some clips here, I want to add some effects to some of these clips. So, for example, if I clicked on this clip here um, and hit play, this will play this clip. Hi, welcome to Clips. Click on this button. And, and then it keeps going to the next clip and so on and so forth. If I click on this first clip, I'm going to go here to where it says Effects. And where it says Effects, I have some buttons down here at the bottom. Now, these last few buttons are simply the ability to add emoji, um, to add stickers, um, which are again, just like social media sticker type things, or there's some little word or text bubbles here that you can add anywhere to your video. So all I would do is simply click on one of those and it'll add it directly to it. Now, again, don't worry about the text because I can change that. Um, and make it say anything I want it to say. So worry about the style, not so much the, uh, the wording that it has there. Now any one of these, I can tap and drag and move them around. Um, I can resize them by pinching and zooming. I could rotate them. I can do whatever I want, put them wherever I want in my video uh, to make them just like that. And the same is also true uh, with any stickers that are in here or any Memoji. Uh, again, I simply click on it. It'll download it and then add it and then I can place it anywhere that I want it to be. Now, this first option I have down here in this toolbar has some filters. So if I wanted to give my um, video a specific look, I can go through and give some filters to that look um, to give it a certain type of um, effect to it. Drag yeah. it to the left towards now, that My line. favorite Click part on this about on this button. clips is something called live titles. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on a clip here, and I'm going to go back to my effects. And the second button in here is what they call live titles. Now, by default, this is turned off, but I can click on any clip, and I can swipe over and simply choose to add um, a live title to the bottom of it. So um, there's a lot of different styles of titles, and basically this is just where the text goes, whether you want it in the center and the bottom. And you can look at these little previews and tell what it's going to do. But let's say I want this yellow text over here like this. And I'm going to go ahead and close that up. And now when I hit play, watch what it does. Click on this button and drag it to the left towards that lock. It changes from a rectangle so to a So live titles is like and an actual go, uh, it's closed captioning it's where it will automatically add the text as I was so, talking uh, it'll and automatically sync it up with my mouth. And, I'm click and, hold and so people can view or read what's happening in your video along with your voice, which makes it a little bit easier to see, especially if you're playing videos at night or somewhere where you can't have the volume turned up. Now, it does a pretty good job of getting your text correct, but sometimes it makes a mistake. So if I need to, I can click on that clip again and go to effects, and I have the ability under my live titles here to edit that text. And this tells me the exact text that has been added here. And if I needed to go in and maybe add some punctuation or correct a few things, or maybe it got some names wrong, I could adjust that text and it'll automatically fix it in my live titles once I've gone through and done that. So I can choose to have live titles on any clip that has sound. So if I was talking when I held down that pink button, um, I can go into click on that clip, go to effects, and go over here and turn on live titles, and it will add that live title to that clip. And again, I can edit the text and see what that text is, see if that's what I want. Um, so that could be a video. Uh, this, for example, was a still image that I got from my photo library. Um, and same thing, I could tap on it, effects, live titles, and maybe choose this one here. Double check my text to make sure it looks good. Yep, that looks good. And so I hit done. And again, now when I click on that clip and hit play, 
This is a Memoji of my software. That AirPods. live title that shows up at the same time. Um, if you need to trim some things or clean some things up sometimes, I can click on any clip in here and I can go to trim and I can simply trim something off the beginning or the end of the clip. I just adjust it um, wherever I need. So by clicking on the ends and adjusting it and then simply clicking the trim button, just like that. Um, I can also split a clip in half. So for example, let's say in this particular clip here, I wanted to add um, a sticker and I wanted something to pop up, but I want it to pop up at an exact spot. I don't want it just to pop up at the beginning. I want it to pop up maybe halfway through this clip. So what I can do is I can click on this clip and I can go to what's called split. And split allows me to choose an exact spot in my clip and cut it in two. So maybe when my hands go up like this, I want something to pop up. So once my hands come up, be right there, I'm gonna click split. And what happens is that will divide this up now into two clips. If you play them back to back, you wouldn't even notice that they're two different clips. But now I can click on just the second clip with my hands up, go to effects, and then maybe there is where I would want to add a sticker or an emoji or something like that uh, that pops in there at the same time. And now with that sticker in place, when I hit play, maybe I start back here, and hit play and drag it, it the first to the clip. left towards that lock with my it changes text from going a on there to and a then square. once it gets to and now when i let go the second clip that's uh, when my sticker is pop up and it's recording without me having to hold anything down so uh it'll keep recording until i click that button again to click and hold down all right so that's how you can do some basic Four editing second. in clips now when i'm done um a lot of people like to add music to their movies um, and so Clips has an awesome selection of soundtracks to be able to put into your video. So up here at the upper right hand corner, I have a little music note. And if I go down here to soundtracks, there's a whole bunch of different soundtracks built into Clips. Um, they have them sorted by uh, feeling. So these are some chill soundtracks here. There's some playful ones. Um, there's some pop ones. Um, typically they do not have words. They're just background music and the slick thing about clips is it'll automatically make these match the length of your movie. The other really cool thing that clips does with your sound uh, is it'll automatically lower the volume of your music anytime you're talking in one of your clips. So if you have words that you're saying, it'll make sure that that music is low so it doesn't drown out your words while you're going. So let's say I choose maybe one like this. I click on it once, it downloads it, and then I can click again to preview it, and it puts a check mark by it. And if I'm happy with that one, I all I have to do is click the back button here. This gives me a little preview, says okay, here it is. It's gonna start here back at the beginning, and then hit done. So now that I got everything finished, I'm gonna go ahead and click my share arrow. And what I recommend is that you save this video to your photo library. You could simply take it and send it directly to Canvas or uh, directly into Google Drive or something like that, but it typically works better if you tell it just to save that video. You also get a nice progress bar as it goes through. So keep your device open and awake as it finishes saving. Wait till it's done, and then once it's finished that, that's gonna show up in your Photos app with all of your other pictures and videos that you've taken with your camera app. And then from there, you can choose to upload it into Canvas or throw it into Google Drive or whatever else you need to do. Uh, but that's all there is to using Clip.